On our other big story tonight, troopers who faced their own dangers on the job lost their lives to fire. A new trooper, a veteran trooper and his wife, a state patrol dispatcher, were all killed this morning when the couple's house went up in flames. A tragedy in the small town of Zilla has devastated state patrol employees all over Washington. Come of course, John DiCepolo is on top of the newest developments from our satellite center. John? Well, Mary, investigators have been trying to piece together the clues all day long to figure out how a house went up in flames so fast and more importantly, why three members of the Washington State Patrol couldn't get out. All three employees uh, were due to work today, and none of them reported. Lieutenant Jim Kitely is devastated by this tragedy. The fire started just after one this morning at the home of his good friend, Trooper Gary Miller, and his wife, Dispatcher Ann Miller Hewitt. A third person, Trooper Christopher Sperry, was also staying with them while he was waiting for his new home to be built. Whatever happened, it was immediate, you know, it just went through the house. Investigators say Ann Miller Hewitt was the one who called 911 initially when the fire broke out. She quickly managed to tell dispatch that there was ammunition in the house and that they were getting out, but she was cut off a short time into the call. It's unprecedented. Uh, we're, we're talking three individuals, uh, two who are long-standing members of this organization who've been in this valley for a, a lengthy period of time, and we're talking a brand new trooper at the onset of his career. So it's very, very heartbreaking. Tonight, all three bodies have been recovered. The sad news has rocked the Washington State Patrol hard, and for Sergeant Freddie Williams, he didn't just lose a brother in the WSP today, he also lost a good friend. We're still human beings. Uh, our hearts break, we get sad, we cry, uh, especially when we lose somebody we love. Now, the ATF has been called in to investigate, even bringing in a canine tracking team to rule out any signs of foul play. The state patrol says that's standard procedure for many fires. But until then, WSP says they will treat this case as a homicide until official cause of the fire is pinpointed. Live in the Satellite Center tonight, John DiCepolo, Como 4 News. Thank you, John. It's been a difficult week for the state patrol. Besides the fire, four troopers have been involved in serious accidents. Trooper Brian Salyer says he rolled his cruiser on I-5 in Tequila last week when motorcyclists he was pursuing cut him off. He survived. The motorcyclists haven't been found. On Saturday, motorcycle troopers Willie Boxhorn and Tony Brock were injured when a driver cut them off on Highway 7. That driver could face charges. The same day in eastern Washington, retired trooper Irvin Bailey was killed while working on a combine when a friend accidentally ran him over. Today, the head of the State Patrol Troopers Association said, quote, we've lost four family members. Como 4 will bring you all the newest developments in the trooper fire investigation on the air, online at comonews.com and on Como News Radio.